Hey super fans, excited to bring you another location scout. And I'm really excited about this location because this location has been used in so many amazing movies. And it's a location that commuters pass through literally every single day. And they probably don't realize how famous this location is. And that is the Second Street Tunnel here in downtown Los Angeles. Now, one of the cool things about this tunnel is that it was built in the 1920s and they used this white reflective tile along the whole tunnel that gives it this wet look. Now, if you were to wet down the street, the whole thing just reflects light and it gives it that iconic tunnel look and feel. You can see how it reflects light in such a cool way. Now, this tunnel has seen movies. Um, like, like for example, Blade Runner. You got Flashdance, where where she gets out of the car and throws her shoes. Don't bring that to me up to me. I'm not going to stupid audition. Now, one of the cool things about this tunnel is that it's been used in all these chase sequences throughout these movies. If you remember in Terminator One, this tunnel was used where Reese is throwing pipe bombs while Sarah Connor is driving. And But that's not the only chasing that has taken place in this tunnel. It was also used in Con Air where, the, where John Malkovich and, and Nicolas Cage are fighting on top of a fire truck. And then they end up in Las Vegas when they get through this tunnel. And then you also have Demolition Man where John Spartan and Huxley are chasing down Simon Phoenix. But that's not the first time that Sylvester Stallone was in this tunnel. He was also in here for Rocky IV where they had that awesome 80s montage that seemed to go on forever. And he comes in at this tunnel while he's contemplating what he's gonna do next. Now for me, one of the most memorable movies that this tunnel was used in was Independence Day. If you remember the scene where Vivica A. Fox is trying to outrun the explosions and the cars, and she takes her son and they jump into a doorway, a maintenance door, and they avoid the explosion. And it's also the, the moment where the dog jumps to safety just in time. And what's funny is I was wondering if that doorway actually exists in this tunnel, and it does, if you look right here. Now it doesn't say maintenance on it, but there's the doorway. Well, that's it for the Second Street Tunnel. Uh, love this location, used in so many great films, and again, one of those locations that commuters pass through every day and probably don't even realize how famous this tunnel is. Now, if you need to shoot something in LA that takes place in a tunnel, well, this is probably the tunnel you're gonna use. But there's one more tunnel nearby that's just as iconic, and that's the Griffith Park Tunnel. Let's go. All right, made it to the Griffith Park Tunnel, and uh, it's so cool to be in here. Um, for one, it's way smaller than it looks on film, and that's what movies do, they make everything larger than life, right? But this tunnel is so long in Back to the Future 2, and that's what's so funny. So as I walk through the tunnel here, if you remember, there's lights that spread all the way across the side here, and the tunnel just seems to go on and on. But in reality, it's a lot smaller if you remember in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the entrance to the tunnel is right here. And it's where he drives through. And then he ends out at the exit of the tunnel right here, which is where the entrance to Toontown was. But it's so fun to be in this tunnel. I mean, again, two amazing films filmed right here in this tunnel. But that's what I love about these locations. That's what I love about Location Scouts, is that you get a chance to see these small locations for these big movies. And if you remember, right out that tunnel, right here behind me, Biff comes flying out and crashes into manure right here. Well, that's it for the tale of two tunnels. I hope you enjoyed this location scout. It was a lot of fun for me to bring both these locations to you, especially because they've been using so many amazing films. We can't wait to get together again as a crew to bring more on location to you. But in the meantime, we'll keep bringing these location scouts.